Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Uh, welcome back uh, to Graph Tanker 98. My channel, uh, the special new series I'm going to be working on is the Star Citizen tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to be running down some rough instructions uh, from start to finish to get you moving around the station, to get you in your first ship or in your ship and uh, and and on a, on a basic mission to get you going uh, some basic ship controls some station controls on foot um so at this point if you're at this menu where i'm looking at right now you probably already pledged okay um you picked a ship okay and you downloaded the game and you've uh already you know installed it properly so i went down uh my settings i'm running a 1080 ti i got an i7 1080 and a 1080 ti for the win graphics card which is getting a little bit dated now but um still decent um the i have everything set to medium i have a 10 at a, a 1920 by 1080 uh and i have the um v-sync turned off medium specs and it plays pretty decently um I, I, I at some points I'll get up to 80 possibly 90 frames a second in space stations anywhere from 40 to 60 to 70 and they're gonna optimize this game shortly and they're here in the next few weeks um, so hopefully that will pick up because this graphics card should be able to handle um, for this video I'm not gonna overclock it's just so I have some stability um, but uh, I have um, been a a uh, a backer of this game since 2014 right so I kind of got in early um, but I just recently started playing again most of that time I was playing Elite Dangerous which that's kind of got stale on me just because I got to wherever I wanted to be at in that game and there's really nothing else to, to do um, the large capital ships just were too expensive and takes too much grind um, it didn't seem worth it this game seems like the multiplayer is gonna be a lot better <clears throat> so We'll start from here. So first things first, um, we're going to do the universe, which is, uh, these are just, the universe is where you're actually going to be in the open world, okay? This is, these are just, the Star Marine and Area Command, Arena Commander are just compartmentalized little deathmatch modes. So you can play those when you want. Um, go ahead and go in the universe. And we're going to go ahead and, so this is just the hangars you own, where you just walk around your hangars. But we're going to go to the station. So this is the first system, spaceports, Stanton system. Uh, I always just leave it on best rating, or region, I should say, and we'll go ahead and visit. Now, I, I do have this installed on SSD, um, which I recommend, um, on my main C drive. So, uh, it loads pretty fast. It used to not load this fast. <laughs> on a regular hard drive, you're going to have some problems loading this game quickly. So, I do recommend SSD for this game. Alright, so, see that loaded pretty, I mean, before it would be a few minutes to load. Alright, so when you first load into the game, you're going to be laying down in a, in a bed. I'm on a station, right, so we, I'm going to go ahead and turn that chat off. That's F12. So, if you look on the left side there, you'll see your, you see like a global chat going on, okay? That's showing, you can turn that off, toggle off that with F12 key. That's the first thing I like to do, if I don't need it, so F12. All right, so this game's UI is a little different than most games. Okay, so just for this first part, this will be this first part is gonna be a quick video. Okay, so you're laying down. I'm, I'm looking around with my mouse. Okay, so everything has to revolves around holding down the F key to get into a different UI. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the F key down right on the keyboard. Okay, so now it, it zooms in and goes into it goes into a little di bit different of a focus mode. Now this game is buggy still, okay? But in this bed, it seems like I can just get move forward. So I'm gonna hit W, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and get out. See, see that little UI right there? And you can stand up. So let's, I'll go back to look at the bed real quick. So when you're looking at, at things you wanna interact with, you're gonna always wanna hold down your F key and see what options come up. So I'm holding down the F key, and here you can see you can sit or you can lie down. I'm not going to do that right now, but but you'll, you'll hover on it, and you just click it with your left mouse, and then let go of the F key. Usually, sometimes it does it automatically. Sometimes you got to let go of the F key. But we'll, we'll see that when we get to the door. 
And then some things you just click the F key. And so it, it acts a little strange sometimes. But we're looking around this first room. We're going to get out of here. So we're going to go ahead and go up to the door. So here's the access seat. Everything will highlight, right, that you can interact with. It'll highlight yellow. Okay, see? But when you get within the actual activating distance of it, it'll get dark or orange. So now we can just do that. Now I'm going to... I'm going to try and just click the F key. Yep, see? When you click the F key with your and your cursor is on the item already, it'll let you usually activate it. Sometimes you have to left click it though to open it. So, we're going to head out of here. We're we were in the habit habitation uh section of the station where we started at. So, we're going to So, one thing to notice real quick when you're walking around stations, if you notice that you're walking real slow like this, okay? And you're like and you can't you can hit the shift key to sprint, right? But you can also, your middle mouse scroll wheel, push it all the way forward, right? And you'll, 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 you'll move faster, okay? This will come into play later when you're moving packages and stuff um, around stations when you pick them up because you can't sprint with the package, but you can move at your fast speed by moving your scroll wheel on your middle mouse button all the way forward. So that's that took me a minute to figure out. Okay, the door is open. I guess I did that. <laughs> So now we're going to go, We so we want to get a ship, right? And we're looking around the station. We want to get to our ship and do a mission, okay? So this, the controls for everything else are pretty standard. Jump space bar, crouch, right, is control, left control. All that's pretty simple. So we, we, can, do, we can get a mission by doing a few different things, okay? We want to get a mission here at this station. So I'm going to hit the F1 key. Which brings up our mobile glass, which is basically a little PD, PDA iPhone looking interface thing that's hologram that comes up that you could use for all your missions. So if you hit F1 key, see it pops up. So if you see here, you have at the bottom on the bottom of the screen, these little these little menus down here are different things you can do to get into into your your inventory, your your ships, your missions. So this one right here, if you look contract manager, go ahead and click that. Okay, you can see all your your available missions. Okay, so you're gonna go to we're gonna do a quick delivery mission. Okay, guys. So let's see. So there's different missions. There's a general tab. If you see right here, there's general missions, but there's personal missions for people. General tabs like from a company. This is the way I've I've kind of interpreted it. And there's personal missions for pe individuals. So look, this one's cost more money, so it's worth more. This is just for this from we don't know who a random guy. So Nine Tails got a box of life cure med sticks they want to grab from Grimet and take in Okay. Reclamation and disposal. Okay, I've had the... So that station is on a planet. That station is not on the grid of, like, the, the local government. So you can't fast travel to it with your, with your quantum warp drive. So I'm not going to do that mission. I spent like 30 minutes trying to fly to that thing down on an actual manually to a planet so it's a big pain in the butt so i would avoid that one so let's see here nope i'm not gonna go there again samson salve i don't know if this one is or not well guys i'm just gonna do i don't know if samson salvage is on the the map either let's see hex delivered to stash house on selin and make sure you get fairly it's a pretty cheap mission. Okay, I'm gonna wait. What's this one? No, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, the Samson mission. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here, accept the offer. Wait, acquire a box of life cure mystics from Grim. Okay, we are on Grim Hex right now. That's where we are. So that's good. So we're gonna accept that offer. Boom. Okay, so the and then we're gonna we're gonna hit. See, it popped up over here on my on my icon. See the the pickup point, right? You see it. Boom, now it's down there. So the pickup point for that box now shows up. That's where we're going to go pick up the package to deliver. So we want to get downstairs. We can go around this. We can Sometimes I just jump over the, the, the rail. But Okay, so at every station, a lot of these missions are always picked up near the admin office. So you're always going to want to find the admin office. Here's the admin office, but there's these kiosks at all these admin offices that look like this. Okay? There are these pickup spots, so you're going to go up to the to this pickup spot, and since you're going to pick up a package here, the system already knows that. You're going to hold down F key and hit pickup right here, and click your left mouse. Boom! See, it's going to process it for you. 
there it is. Okay, there's the box. So we want to go ahead and hold down F key again and click carry with the mouse. Boom. And it's going to get it for you right there, just like that. So this is some stuff I had you had to figure out on your own. So if it, and just remember, if you like this instructions, this simple instructions I'm giving you, just remember I'm going to keep doing more content like this. Like and subscribe, and I'm going to keep more content. Now we have the package. Okay, now we need to get to our ship. Our ship's probably not spawned, which we have to request it to retrieve it from a system. So we're going to, I already know this system, but usually you need to go to the landing pads, right? So Grim Hex here, you have to go to the landing pads, which we need to go to these two elevators to go to the same spot. So ele call an elevator, F key, like we have been doing. Left click, elevator's going to come now. Okay, so now we're going to take, now we're going to go up to the elevator control. Now we want to go to the landing pad. See, sometimes there's multiple pads and multiple things on here. Left clicked it, landing pads. Sometimes you got to remember where your, your 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 ship is. And just remember, this game's buggy still. So sometimes your ship will despawn. So you have to call for it again. Okay. So see, if you see our destination is 42 million kilometers. <laughs> That's how far we have to fly across the space. So if you look right here, these yellow ship retrieval consoles are at every station. Since I don't have a ship spawned, I'm going to have to request one, one of the ships that I own. So if you look in here, I'm going to left, uh, F, F key, click. All right, I'm going to go ahead. My, okay, so I must have lost this at one point. So I'm going to go ahead and do a claim on this. So if your ship has been lost somewhere during gameplay, um, you just file a claim for it and it'll return. You can fat, I'm not going to expedite it though. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to call in my Freelancer Max, okay? I'm going to retrieve it. So all you got to do is retrieve it and wait. Please wait while it's being down and delivered to the platform. Okay, our our ship, my ship is waiting at Alpha Zero One. That's the pad. So I haven't found a better way to get out of this other than just back up away from these consoles, okay? So Alpha Zero One. So we know that's two, three landing pad two, three, four, five that way. And then we, I think there was a sign that said the other pads are this way. I know where they are, but I'm just sometimes you got to look for them. So Elevator Zero. That's the elevators. Okay, it doesn't really tell you, but that landing pad is down here. Okay, so we have to go out of the airlock. Oh, these little stations, by the way, you can change your uh, outfitting, I believe. Change your clothes and stuff. I'm not going to do that right now, though. Okay, so we're going to go up to the airlock. Cycle. So sometimes you go out in space to get to your ship, or to the landing pad. So first we're going to go up here and cycle the air. I just See see how I just clicked the F key right there? So there's my ship. It's spawned and ready for me. I have a freelancer cargo ship, so pretty cool ship. Now this one you had to pay real money for. Um, you can also earn them in the game by grinding out credits, I believe. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I don't have enough money. I'm gonna open up the back. Now, when they allow piracy and stealing in this game, it's probably gonna be a, a good reason to like not actually. Oh, let me pick that up real quick. Get out of the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop my sh my container right here, and then I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna hold F key like I just did and left click the mouse. It'll close the door. So my package is on board. And now, so you can fit vehicles in here later on, folks. Okay, you can buy vehicles and then drive them around the planets. So these doors, you can they just auto open. So this is the Freelancer Max I'm walking around that you can see. Pretty sweet, huh? I have beds there. I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. Okay, so that's my side door for it. We're gonna go into the cockpit now. Okay, so I'm not leaving just yet. I'm gonna do a separate tutorial just for the ship taking off. So we've got we successfully have got uh, into out of the bed, picked up, started a mission, grabbed the container, and then we have successfully uh, navigated on foot to the ship, requested the ship. So I'm gonna show you guys one last thing here for the end of this video. So remember what I told you about before when you're walking uh, slow and you can't realize why with these boxes. This is how fast I was moving when I first started playing with packages. All right, look at this. I did not realize if you're moving this slow with a package, all you gotta do is roll your middle mouse button scroll wheel all the way forward. 
See? And you'll walk the normal speed with the box. So don't forget that. That's key. So if you have actually um, liked this video, this basic tutorial on the movement and starting the mission, uh, like and subscribe. Go ahead and uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to show you how to navigate, start your ship, pilot your ship, navigate through the, the star map, and get to where your destination is and deliver your package. All right, folks. Uh, just remember, Graph Tanker 98 here, signing off. Stay tuned for the next video. All right, thank you.